At some point, you can't blame your shortcomings on the white man. You can't blame your shortcomings on it. It's because I'm rasa fool and don't nobody make it from where I'm from. It's like you probably just need a better strategy. Yeah. So I think this podcast and, and this conversation and everyone in this room hopefully can serve as examples or, or hopefully we can be better leaders one day so that people listening or, or they might take away that where it's like, you know what, regardless of what skin color we are or our kids are, if you have a good strategy and you 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 uh, don't blame others for mm. everything, it, it's like you can't, like, what's the excuse? Okay, Oprah, boy, she rich as hell. Yeah. What happened there? Oh, well, there's exceptions. T.I., he rich as hell. What happened there? Oh, there's exceptions. Or even this dude, uh, Lalo, Lalo Alcaraz, the, the comic, uh, the political cartoonist okay. that tried to call me out because mm -hmm. I voted for Trump. Well, he's a millionaire. He's a millionaire making comics telling Raza that they're oppressed. You're a millionaire. That's like Bernie. Bernie's a fucking millionaire, but he's talking about Bernie Sanders. Away. Yeah. Yeah. So so Lalo is a millionaire and he makes his money syndicating his car political cartoons, yeah. which just shit on Trump all day. Yeah. So right now he ain't got shit to draw. <laughs> he ain't got shit to draw right now. You're who's drawing now. I hope so. <laughs> I hope he takes the bait. But just like CNN, they ain't got shit to draw. Yeah. 